this is Praxis, and today I'm working in the kitchen doing some storage stuff. One of the great things I love about building is kind of coming up with ideas organically as you're working. This uh, little shelf that I put in here, I built this, uh, you know, just a few days ago, and it's all made out of scrap wood, which I love. Uh, the, the shelf itself is made out of two pieces of wood that join here in the middle, and there's a contiguous piece across the front, you know, pretty simple shelf. Uh, and, you know, it's obviously here, so I can put spices up here. Um, being able to have the spices in this area, it kind of freed them up because they were all packed up into the shelf. So uh, I'm just trying to work with organization. Organization is important whether you're storing spices or teacups or rifles or whatever you want to store. It's important to, you know, know where things are, have access to them, and have it not just be this big, like, mess pile that you, you know, don't know where anything is because if you don't know where it is, you might as well not have it. Uh, what I'm working on today, actually, is teacup storage. Uh, teacups had been, well, where are they? Yeah, they have been all up in this area. I'm going to be able to pull them all out of here because what I'm going to be doing is hanging them up underneath here. And I didn't come up with this idea until I put the shelf in. And I was looking at it and I was like, wait a second, there's all this vertical space below it as well. So I was thinking, well, I could just get some hooks and stick them up under here and put the teacups in. Now, the angle that I have the teacups at uh, is kind of intentional. Uh, you, I wanted to have it so that the open part is facing back, so there'd be a minimum of dust. You know, there'll be more dust out here than there will be in the back. And I want it so they can kind of pull out generally forward. If I put them in like straight back like that, you'd always have to kind of do a twist and then they maybe would like rattle up next to the teacup next to them. So that's the approach that I'm using. I made this little jig here and I love using jigs for things because it just speeds things up, makes things really uh, precise. And what this thing does is I determined where I wanted the first one here. And before I determined where I wanted that, I made sure my spacing wasn't going to land me. So I'm sticking one right in the middle of the joint here. I didn't want to have one right in the joint because, you know, there's not wood there. It's like wood putty and stuff. So I made sure that wasn't going to be a problem, and it isn't. And I've just got a little hole drilled in the corner of this. And what this does is it slides right up next to the last one that I did. And I put the drill into the hole. That marks my spot and gives me a little pilot hole. And my T is whistling. Take that off there and I'll deal with that later on. I love the whistling teapot. Without the whistling teapot, you know, oftentimes the stuff will be boiling and, uh, you know, even if you're not wasting energy, because on the wood stove it's not wasted energy anyway, you know, you're you're losing water and whatever mineral content is in your water from like well water or whatever that's being intensified as the the water boils off you get getting you know less water and more you know copper or whatever and you know some of those are are important nutrients but whoa, that was I was using that cup as my sawdust holder I guess not uh, but you don't want to have that stuff too uh, intense in your uh, in your drinking water. So I like that whistling pot, otherwise I would never remember about it. So this looks like this is going to work out pretty well. Now the next one goes up, slide it right up there. The bit that I'm using here is just, it's a bit that is just a little bit smaller than the, uh, the screw thread for each of these. I was just at Home Depot yesterday and I picked these up and uh, this pack that I got, I think is, it was a really perfect choice. There's also, you know, uh, uh, silvery, kind of like, uh, I don't know, I guess it'd be steel ones. Uh, these are not quite as strong, but they're perfectly strong enough for teacups. Uh, they were a really great price to get the 25 pack for it. I think it was like six bucks for the whole thing. And it gives you a nice, nice big area to uh, aim for when you're putting things back. But I think this is going to be a really great uh, additional storage approach in the kitchen because uh, it's just a great way of kind of putting things up into an area that otherwise would be kind of, you know, useless space. I don't want to put this one up though. It's just got a weird handle. It's Christmas themed. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.